Welcome back. The U.S. dentist who killed Cecil the Lion is back at work after more than a month out of the public eye. Walter Palmer was greeted by cameras and a few protesters as he arrived at his practice in Minnesota. It's the first time he's been there since the international uproar over Cecil's death. Uh, Boris Sanchez has been following this story for us from New York. He joins us now. And uh, Boris, when this story first broke about six weeks ago, a lot of patients said they would no longer see Dr. Palmer. Uh, what's the situation today? Any patients, many protesters, how much security? We've yet to get a clear sign, Linda, of how many patients the doctor may see today. What we know is that there were some protesters, a handful of them outside of his office, some of them chanting extradite Palmer as he walked into his office. Uh, it wasn't the same kind of response we saw in the weeks after we had the revelation that he was the man that killed Cecil the Lion, where you couldn't get into his office. There were massive crowds outside, very aggressive crowds outside. Uh, and even though initially Local police said that they would not have a preventative presence there. Uh, we did see some officers on hand amongst the crowd. Uh, we also noted that there was someone that appeared to be a bodyguard walking in the office with Palmer. It appears he's not taking any chances knowing kind of the rancor and, and uh, vitriol we saw from the crowds there before. That's right, Boris. He was um, certainly a target on social media for a very long time. He was called a killer, Satan, a poor excuse of a human being. Uh, but it wasn't just him. His family members were also targeted. Uh, there were serious threats made uh, toward his family as well. He says that's part of the reason he stepped out of the public eye for several weeks uh, for family security issues. He has asked since then in an interview with the AP that came out this weekend uh, that his family receive privacy. He, he's questioning the humanity, I'm um, quoting him, of those who have threatened his family online. Okay, Boris Sanchez, we'll have to leave it there for now, but we will uh, talk to you about this a bit more soon. Thank you. Well, that does it for us here at the International Desk. I'm Linda Kincaid, but don't go anywhere. World Sport with Christina McFarlane is up next.